Good afternoon. This is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John, Kansas, and Maxville, Kansas, on Cable Channel 3 and on CindyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday. It's the 21st of January already, and it's 42 here in the square and cloudy. Uh, today will be cloudy and uh, 47 will be the high temperature. Thursday will be partly cloudy and 45, but the weekend looks much better. Friday, sunny and 51. <coughs> Saturday, sunny and 57. And on uh, Sunday, partly cloudy with a little bit of wind and 54. And Monday, sunny again with 54 without the wind. We have uh, no birthdays or announcements to uh, make, and uh, if you're a listener and you have families with birthdays that you would like to wish happy birthday, uh, that's something we do, and uh, of course we, we don't like to uh, have anybody put somebody else's birthday on because maybe they're keeping it a secret. But uh, if you have a family with birthdays in town or yourself, uh, call us up at uh, 6351 and uh, we'll be glad to put birthday and anniversary announcements on uh, the bulletin board and we'll say happy birthday when it's your birthday. Uh, well, the, uh, the major new and different uh, announcement is that St. John the Apostle Catholic Church is having a soup luncheon and raffle. And this is Sunday, January 25th in the parish hall. And they're serving soup between 11.45 and 1.30 at lunchtime. The raffle drawing will be at 12.30. Uh, it says... Uh, tickets, $5 per person. Oh, this is for the dinner. I and raffle things, I, you're on your own for that. Uh, so, help out with this uh, program. And they're raising funds for the National Catholic Youth Conference in 2015. That would be nice if they raised enough money. Maybe they could send some of our youth uh, to a conference like that. Now, the Recreation Commission has one more activity this month, and it's Tuesday, January 27th, and they're going to the Steinberg Museum in Hayes and to have lunch at Geller's Diner and Brewing. So they plan to leave at 8.30 and be back by 4. Uh, there are costs, $10 for the bus, Six dollars for the museum fee, and then you're you're on your own own for what you spend for lunch. <coughs> and uh, now we have uh, one of our main things that we do here, and that's to tell about the menu at the senior fellowship meals. And at the VIP center in Maxville, they're having creamy noodles with ham. And uh, tomorrow. That's tomorrow. And on uh, Thursday, they're having uh, uh, chicken and a Mexican dinner and baked fish filet. And then uh, in uh, St. John, today they're having barbecued chicken and a hot potato salad. Tomorrow, Swiss steak and tomatoes with green beans. And on Friday, liver and onions and scalloped potatoes. And it's always a neat thing. I'm, uh, I'm always surprised that we don't have more folks who take part in the fellowship meals in St. John and in Maxville because uh, it's really a good thing and people should get out and if you're going to the senior dinner or lunch, uh, you're going to meet people you know and friends and uh, that's a good thing to do rather than just sit at home. Well, uh, anyway, uh, we do have something following about God's story, a program that is being run, 
and you can see some of those on the internet. Uh, and then we have uh, the word of the day, which is this. Happiness is like jam. You can't spread a lot of it around without getting some of it on yourself. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a real happy Wednesday. This is your story. This is your story. This is your story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. But most of all, this is the greatest story ever told. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I know you're going to enjoy the incredible journey you're about to embark on. The story is brimming over with tales of mystery, intrigue, adventure, of love, heartbreak, and triumph, of power, of struggle, and finally, of redemption. But remember, the Bible is not a hundred ancient, unrelated paintings, but a mural all knitted together to tell the story of God's great love for us and the extent to which He will go to get us back. I know you're really going to enjoy and appreciate this wonderful experience as you fully explore how we all fit into the greatest story ever told, God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I'm Ray Davidson, pastor of First Southern Baptist Church here in St. John on the corner of Second and Exchange. We would like to invite you to come and join with us as we look at God's story, the story of God's interaction with man. We'll begin on September the 7th at 9.30 a.m. with, with a worship service followed by at 10.30 with Sunday School. This is a study for everyone in the family. All of the children, young people, adults will be studying the same lesson so that we can talk about it at home as we go through the week. We invite you again to come and join us on this 31-week study of God's story and man's story.